Welcome guys, bienvenidos to Spain on a Fork. Today we've got another incredible recipe, Spanish saffron rice with raisins and pine nuts. As you can tell by the title of this dish, there's a ton of Moorish influence in here between you know those pine nuts and those raisins, but this is what gives this dish that power punch of flavor. This is absolutely delicious. It's very easy to make, use the simple ingredients, and it's done in about 30 minutes. You can serve this rice as a side dish or even as a main course next to a salad for an incredibly healthy and delicious meal. Now for this recipe, I'm gonna be using round rice, which is the same rice that I used to make by. It's very popular here in Spain. It's very similar to medium grain rice. However, you can use whatever rice you want in this recipe, but I'm sure that the water to rice ratio might be a little bit different. So make sure you check out the package instructions in the rice for that. And also you're gonna need some saffron. Once again, I just received a brand new tin from Golden Saffron in the mail. You know, the minute you open this, you can tell this is some grade one, high quality premium saffron. You guys always see me using the saffron, why? Because in my opinion, this is one of the best ones in the market. You know, quality to price ratio, it doesn't get better than this. Link below where you guys can get some. All right, folks, let's get started. We're gonna begin by adding half a cup of raisins into a bowl and then pour in some hot water, enough to cover all the raisins. This is gonna help soften them up. Next up, we're gonna grab a nonstick frying pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add a quarter cup of pine nuts. Now, the secret when you're dry roasting pine nuts is you wanna make sure you mix them continuously. That way they all cook evenly and they don't burn. After lightly toasting our pine nuts for about five minutes, you don't wanna to over toast these. Let's go ahead and remove them from the pan and transfer them into a bowl. For this recipe, you're also gonna need half of an onion that's finely diced. and three cloves of garlic that are finely minced. All right, next up, let's start cooking. Grab a saute pan, heat it with a medium high heat, and add two and a quarter cups of water. Then pinch in half a teaspoon of saffron threads, and a generous pinch of sea salt. While the water is heating up, let's grab the same nonstick frying pan, heat it with a medium high heat, and add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the oil for about two minutes, I'm gonna add the diced onions and the minced garlic and start mixing them around with the oil. You wanna mix this continuously. We are working with a medium high heat here. You do not want those garlic to burn. After cooking our onions and our garlic for about three minutes, and you can see that those onions are nice and translucent, I'm gonna add one cup of round rice our raisins that have been soaking in hot water, I drain the hot water. Our toasted pine nuts. A generous pinch of sea salt. And some freshly cracked black pepper. And mix this all together until it's well combined. As you can see at this point, our saffron water has began to boil. Perfect timing. Let's go ahead and add this into the fry pan. give it a gentle mix, that way everything's well distributed. You know, this is not like a paella where you can only mix it one time, but you also don't want to over mix this. It's been about six minutes since we added our saffron water into the pan. And as you can see, there's not a lot of broth left. We've been cooking this in a medium high heat. Let's go ahead and place a lid on top and lower the fire to a low heat. And we're gonna simmer this between three to four minutes. About four minutes after adding the lid into the pan, and you can see there's almost no liquid left in there. This dish is ready to go. Let's go ahead and remove it from the heat. And we're gonna let this rest here between four to five minutes with the lid on. This is gonna finish up cooking up the rice. Meanwhile, let's grab a handful of fresh chives and finely chop them. This is gonna add a beautiful color to this dish as well as an amazing flavor. Five minutes after adding the lid, let's go ahead and remove it. And let's garnish our dish with the freshly chopped chives. Okay guys, our dish is done. How easy was it to make this? And seriously, this looks unbelievable. Let's get in there, give it a try and see how it tastes. All right, here we go.
beautiful combination of flavors. Well, everything, you know, the saffron, the raisins, the pine nuts, the rice has a beautiful texture to it. You guys saw this so easy to make. You know, very important when you're making this rice to season it well. We're working with water here, not broth. And also the rice, it really absorbs a lot of that salt. So make sure as you're cooking this, you taste it, make sure everything's well seasoned. Because if this dish is under seasoned, it doesn't have that magic. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. And if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.